So this session is about how you can be an Agile L&D professional. I'm going to share with you my thoughts on some simple steps that you can take, reflect upon and implement easily. So that by the end of the session, you will be able to describe what Agile means for you as an L&D professional, list what benefits being Agile will bring to you and your organisation, and hopefully you'll want to adopt some of these steps when you get back to the workplace. So what exactly do I mean by Agile? Is it about being able to pull the proverbial rabbit out of a hat, or to make your ever-shrinking resources go further? Or is it about bending and flexing with whatever is thrown your way? To me, Agile can be many things. It can be about stealth, effortlessly gliding around the organisation, seeing what's going on, being a ninja, having your finger on the pulse and noticing what's happening or even not happening. It can also mean flexing with what is happening, instinctively knowing what is the right next step, it's about staying calm in the midst of the storm to find out where the storm is raging and who needs to help calm it. It can also be about avoiding those false starts or those blind alleys that suck you in. It's more about getting it right first time because you have, ninja-like, infiltrated the organisation. It can also be about getting to the root of the problem seeing what is really there rather than what presents itself, roaring the loudest and making the most noise, pulling you into uncertain directions. It's about recognising the difference between what someone says they want and what they really need. So someone says they want a glass of orange when they actually need to have their thirst quench. And so your solution may be a glass of water. So understanding the difference between wants and needs. So why bother? Being more agile gives you in L&D more credibility because you solve the right problems in the right way with the right people at the right time. You start to become change agents rather than purveyors of learning materials. Now I'm going to suggest just four ways to start with and these will be ways that you can implement easily and quickly and I'm going to go over the four ways briefly and then in a little bit more detail. So let's start with the first one. Number one, be a ninja, infiltrate the organisation, analyse what's going on. Number two, use the right stakeholders to work with you in the right way. Number three, set clear organisational performance and learning objectives and know the difference between all of those. Listen, reflect and feedback what is happening or not happening in some cases. First one is network like a ninja. Be everywhere. Get your finger on the pulse, read organisational plans, go to briefings and find out what is really going on. Make connections and network to find the right allies and supporters. Dig deeper and analyse. If you always do surveys, try focus groups or analysing the latest management information. Collate appraisal information, but don't just use it to determine what training is needed. Dig deeper. Ask yourself who you need to spend more time with. Concentrate on working with those stakeholders that are both supportive and have an impact in the organisation. Win over the snipers, keep close to the networkers and don't waste any time on the undead. Now what is the prize? What is the organisation trying to achieve? What does best look like if it's trying to be best? How will you know when you're there? Set reasonable and agreed expectations around how quickly you can be the best and how it can be measured. Help turn your people managers into heroes by helping them to achieve their team goals and improve performance. Use Robert Major's PCS format for goal setting, a great model for setting smart objectives. All the while, listen, encourage, seek feedback and give great feedback inspire everyone to reflect on their performance and its impact. Measure what is important and change tack if the feedback detects it. Create a virtuous spiral so that the only way is up. 
Listen, reflect, adapt and react. Become proactive rather than reactive, inquisitive rather than obedient, solution focused rather than training driven. So here's a quick recap on how to become an agile L&D professional. One, infiltrate the organization like a ninja. Two, work with the right stakeholders in the right way. Three, set clear objectives, keep your eye on the prize. Four, listen, reflect and feedback. So go out there everyone and be ninja-like.